Please let's say let's say your first weekend were you straight on purpose and the first weekend you straight on accident. Um, let's start with accident first. <laughs> okay. So, She's like after day one. <laughs> so about after two days. <laughs> now we're after I got off the phone with you. Uh, my accident one. Well, it was kind of both the same weekend. Okay. Okay. So uh, when we this started, should be interesting. So when we started in late April, like I had my birthday uh, late May. Okay. So I had planned for it, but then, you know, one thing led through another. Yeah. And someone ordered Domino's late at night. Right, <laughs> right. I just had a few too many slices. Yeah. Was there pineapples on the pizza? No. And it doesn't <laughs> not, count. Not a chance. It's not even a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so like. But like for the most part, I did plan ahead of time. Like, uh, like I didn't take food, but I like uh, would look ahead of like what's at restaurants okay. and I would eat lightly. So, okay, could you dive a little bit deeper into that? Because that's a big issue, and maybe you guys could vouch for me out there, but I feel like that's a big issue with people as far as it's hard for them to plan ahead of time when you're going out to eat somewhere. Like, so what did you do? Because where were you? You we were in San Diego. Okay. So for Which one, is... I didn't know where all the, like, what's there to eat. I'm very picky when it comes to breakfast. Okay. <laughs> it has to be good. All right. Um, so, so if you're a picky breakfast eater, it helps. <laughs> so we would always like look ahead and make sure that the, the food there looked good. Okay. So, um, and then like I would like switch things out, like instead of getting hash browns, uh -huh. I'd get like boiled fruit. Okay. Um, I do like omelets. Yeah. Um, veggies mostly and um, chicken. Yeah. And so, that's, that's actually what you just talked about right there. So like she did a bowl of fruit instead of hash browns. That might seem like if you were just to enter hash browns. I love hash browns. Yeah. <laughs> so if you if you make hash browns at home compared to if you eat hash browns on, like out and about, it's a significant difference yeah. because they cook with so much oils and grease. So just even something like that, like you probably saved 150 to 200 calories just from like oils, you know. And and then sometimes you'll be surprised and whatever else they're gonna throw in there, you know? They're like, oh, with hash browns, you get four pieces of toast as well. Yeah, <laughs> or here's a stack of pancakes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like, even something like that is a big difference that, you know, just from the outside looking at you, like, oh, it's, it's probably around the same calories. Like, that's huge. Like, don't underestimate making replacements of food. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, no, but I wanted to, to touch on that. So what else? Um, 